Hello everybody and welcome to my Make a Splash assignment presentation on White Perch, Maroon Americana. My name is Hannah Bernasconi. We're going to start off with White Perch. What is a White Perch? Maroon Americana is a freshwater fish species native to the eastern United States and Canada. They are actually not a true perch, but rather a member of the temperate bass family, which also includes striped bass. The identifying features of a white perch include a silvery and dusky longitudinal lines along its body, projecting lower jaw and small teeth, their anal fin also possesses three strong spines. It's important to note here, too, the difference between a white perch and a yellow perch. The yellow perch are very similar, except their coloring is a little bit different, and their size range from 4 to 10 inches in length. Their coloring is goldy, golden yellow to olive green color on their sides and a lighter belly color. Can you eat them? They are commonly eaten by people. They are considered a popular food fish in regions where they're found. White perch have mild flavored white flesh that is often compared to other popular freshwater species like walleye and or crappie. These fish can be prepared in various ways including frying, baking, grilling, or even used in soups and stews which make them so popular. The environmental conditions that you need to take into consideration when thinking about aquaculturing the species is the water temperature that must be between 60 degrees and 75 degrees. In these conditions, they are more active and tend to feed more actively, especially in warmer waters, which is important for the growth of these fish. White perch prefer clean and well oxygenated water. Adequate dissolved oxygen levels are essential for their survival and growth. The ideal pH range for a white perch is between 6.5 and 8. Well, white perch are primarily a freshwater species. They can tolerate some level of salinity and can be found in brackish waters as well as fresh water. They typically tend to prefer shallow areas, especially during their spawning seasons, which is important to note when replicating their habitat in captivity. They often in inhabit near shore areas, bays, and the edge of aquatic vegetation. Can they be aquacultured? The short answer is yes. White perch could be aquacultured and in some regions they are aquacultured on a small scale. The aquaculture of white perch typically involves the same general practices and techniques used in fish farming, which can include breeding and spawning of broodstock, incubating and rearing larvae, transferring to larger tanks or ponds for growth, and providing suitable environmental conditions, nutrition, and disease management. White perch can be reared in pond culture systems, recirculating aquaculture systems, and or flow through systems depending on the available resources and farm infrastructure. Personally, I believe that recirculating aquaculture systems, RAS, would be the most effective system for farming white perch and even yellow perch. A similar species that is currently being aquacultured this way is the striped bass and they are having great success using the recirculating aquaculture system. It would allow for the most optimal conditions allowing for the best results in the healthiest fish. On this slide, um, we have 
just a little show of um, a recipe here on the right hand side of the screen. Brown butter perch is one of the most popular recipes um, for perch species. And over here on the left, um, we see that white perch and yellow perch are two of the most delicious fish that you can find. Their flavor, however, is um, slightly different, which is why I believe that white perch and yellow perch could both be adequate species to aquaculture and maybe even be aquacultured together. Um, people do enjoy the taste of both. They are a little bit plainer, but they are still white and flaky for the most part, which makes them a very enjoyable fish for people to eat. With that being said, due to the nutritional values of white and yellow perch, I believe that they would make a great aquacultured species. And these are my citations.